It was late August 20th, 1989, when news broke of a brutal double homicide right here in Beverly Hills. I am the kid that did kill his parents. Why did you need to buy a Rolex watch four days after your parents were killed? So we're in a quiet neighborhood in Beverly Hills. A lot of my videos start with, we're in a quiet neighborhood in Beverly Hills, and then it turns into a horrific crime. But today we're on Elm Street, and this is an absolute real nightmare on Elm Street. So this is the house of where the Menendez brothers brutally murdered their parents. See, it was the evening of August 20th, 1989, and the parents, Jose and Kitty Menendez, were in the den, right here in this house. Inside this house at 722 Elm Drive, a medium price house at about $5 million. Elton John lived here once, so did some rich Saudis. The current owners were sitting in the study watching TV. When Lyle and Eric entered the room armed with shotguns, Jose was shot six times, including the fatal bullet in the back of his head. Kitty was shot 10 times. Lyle Menendez even ran back to the car right here in this driveway. Right here. And reloaded before delivering the fatal shot to Kitty's cheek as she lay on the floor. So after they killed their parents, they remained in the house thinking the police would show up here because of the sound of gunshots. When the police never showed, the brothers cleaned up the shells, went to dispose of the guns and think up an alibi. The brothers returned to the house that night at which point Lyle called the police and was shouting, someone killed my parents. Uh, what's the problem? What's the problem? <laughs> someone killed my parents. Pardon me? <laughs> what? When the police arrived right here, 722 Elm, the brothers had told them that the parents must have been killed when they were at a movie seeing Batman. Now in the months that followed the killings, the brothers spent tons of money on luxury items, business and travel. They bought Rolexes, a Porsche, a Buffalo wing restaurant of all things, and so much more. Now the investigation led police in many different directions, but it was a confession that Eric made to a psychologist that brought it, them all down. See, the psychologist mistress told the police about this once they broke up. Now the brothers went to trial in 1993 and it became a media sensation. It was all over court TV and they even carried it live. The whole country tuned in. They claimed abuse and said it was all in self-defense. If you don't ask my dad, Wait one second, Mr. Okay, let me no, ask No, no, he was in the process of answering, so there's no need to ask him. Can you answer the question? Yes. Okay, was you telling Lyle what? That my dad had been molesting me. But it all happened right here at this house on Elm Street. The real nightmare on Elm Street, as I had said. Now, both brothers were eventually found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without parole. Lyle and Eric Menendez have been found guilty of murdering their parents. It took a second trial for the two to be convicted of murder in the first degree. Now there have been multiple documentaries on the killings, including one where Eric discussed it in detail in jailhouse phone calls. Jose and Kitty are both buried in New Jersey, but think about it. It was all right here in this house on Elm Street, that fateful night when the boys murdered their parents.
right here. Now you have to wonder what was going through their minds after they did it. It all happened right here. That was the Menendez family murder house. Jose and Kitty were killed right there. Lyle came outside, reloaded right here in the driveway. The police showed up here when they called. And then it took a few weeks and Lyle and Eric were charged. I appreciate you watching. I have some great true crime videos coming out. Subscribe. Let's go on more adventures together. Thanks guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.